Hello and welcome to the alarm lock video training. This is uh, part of the air access series and the session today will be on adding personnel or adding badges. This is where you will see all of the personnel and all of the badges that are uh, in, your, uh, in your account. Now to add a badge, click on add personnel and then the uh, one thing that you need to do here is to add the name for that person. So uh, maybe uh, their last name is um, uh, Thompson. First name, um, uh, Teddy. And then their badge number. So here you would put in the badge number for their existing badge and you would need to add the facility code if you are going to use facility codes. Now I have another ser uh, session on how to uh, add facility codes into the software so you can go to the Alarm Lock YouTube page and uh, find that uh, uh, video there. Now, if you are going to use a PIN number as well as your badge for a lock that has a PIN pad and a badge reader, then you would put that PIN number in here. Um, this would be a two-factor authentication, so you have one that is the badge and a second one that is the PIN. If you are going to use PIN only, okay, you, which we can do that, if you are going to use PIN only and not use a badge, do not put the pin code in here. I have another session on how to create a user with a pin only. Make sure that the badge user is enabled. If you have any holiday calendars, then you would set those holiday calendars for that badge holder. You have an access time. Now this is for allowing this one badge holder to open doors uh, and when those doors open, they stay open for however many seconds that you set this access time for. Most of the locks will have a three second preset access time, but if this individual needs more time to be able to open that door, then you can set that time here. Now we can also activate a badge in the future. So if we wanted to activate this badge, say on uh, Monday, next uh, that next Monday, then we would choose that uh, day on the calendar and then you would set the time. So this badge will activate on October 25th at 7 a.m. And if you want this badge to expire sometime in the future, you would do the same thing. Hit the drop down, find your date on the calendar, and then set your time for it to expire as well. If you want them to activate immediately, then you would leave that blank. Okay, and it would be immediate activation and it would never expire if you leave it blank. Now you need to assign this user to an access group. By default, they're always assigned to the all door access, but you can change that to whatever you want. So maybe this is the admin staff and you can ac uh, actually put them into multiple access groups up to 16. Under the control section, this is where you will allow an individual uh, to uh, open doors or be denied access into doors during a threat level lockdown. Uh, so I do have another video on that as well. Under the user information, this is additional information that you can put in for that individual. And then under photo, you can choose a photo for that individual when you have all of that information in, just click save and this information is automatically updated to that, um, um, that those locks that are inside that access group. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a badge in the Air Access software. Uh, if you would like to watch more of the alarm lock training videos, you can always go to youtube.com slash C slash alarm lock and there are uh, 50 plus videos there covering air access, uh, networks, DO window software, 
and keypad programming of the Alarm Lock Trilogy Locks.